Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we, we are going to discuss about histogram plot. In our previous classes, we already discussed about scatter plot, bar charts and all those things. The data set which we are using from the beginning of this playlist, the same data set we, will, we are going to use. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python for uh, data science. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, histograms are used to identify the frequency or count. So if you want to identify the frequency of item sales, uh, frequency like that uh, in these situations we will use uh, histograms. Uh, and take an example and understand how we will apply histograms in our data set. Uh, the example which we are considering, this is our data set. In this data set, we are going to take the quantity value. So what, are the, what is the sale and how many quantity, how, how many items they have taken. Uh, so they have taken two items, three items, four items, five. That is what the quantity means. Uh, so we are going to generate a histogram on the variable called quantity. So x is equal to df of quantity dot value. So this x is taken as quantity values. This is given as input to the histogram. So how, let's take a look at the diagram of the histogram so that we'll understand the use of the histogram better. So when we construct the histogram, this is how it looks like. Uh, on the x-axis, we are taking quantity. Automatically, it will take the count value on the y-axis. Count value means, uh, so here we call, we call this as bin. One bin, second, first bin, second bin, third bin, fourth bins. We call this as bins. Uh, here we have given an option of uh, we generate 13 bins that's why it has generated 13 bins so python will automatically take the x-axis limits so up to 2 it has taken as one bin up to here it has taken as the second bin up to here it has taken the third bin like that it will automatically generate we can mention the bin values also where to where we have to take the bin value we have to we can mention that how to mention that we will discuss in a minute Let's try to understand what's the use of it. So most of them are buying four items. By looking at this, we'll get an idea. We can do some marketing tricks. So if you take five of them, we'll give a, give you a sale percentage of 1% discount, like the 2% discount. By looking at, it, looking at this, we can push the customers to take five items, to take six items like that. If you have this data, we can identify that without this data we cannot identify that that's why these graphs are very very important so in order to construct this histogram we will use the function called hist from matplotlib.pyplot let's take a look at the documentation this is our matplotlib.pyplot hist is there this is the function which we are going to take in this function we will use some of the parameters mostly used parameters according to your requirement you have to identify the remaining parameters and based on your requirement uh, explaining all the op options is not possible so we are giving you an uh, idea about how to construct the histograms uh, but uh, if you want to go deep into the concept according to your requirement you have to google it and identify the requirements which parameter we have to use in order to satisfy your requirement uh, so according that uh, you have to check the documentation uh, now let's check some of the options one by one so in the hist, hist we are taking it as the x and color is equal to blue, bins is equal to 13. So the 13 bins will be generated automatically. If you want to give your bin values, so this is how we will give, we will give a list of bin values 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, means 0 to 2 is considered as one bin, 2 to 4 is considered as other bin, 4 to 6. So we have given exactly same limit. You can give different limits also 0 to 2, 2 to 8, 8 to 14 like that. You can give different limits. So this is how our diagram looks like 2, 2 to 4. How many of them are there? Uh, count is giving. And if you want to change the, if you don't want to take it as a count, if you want the percentage values, means probability values, we will use the option density is equal to true. For the same figure, if you take density is equal to true, uh, so it will take the probability values, means 2 to 4, how many count will be there, take the count value and divided by total count, uh, we will get the probability values, see on the left side we are having the probability scores, 
what's the probability means uh, it's a percentage score how, how how much percentage of the um, are taking uh, four items quantity is equal to four okay and coming to the next option so we can use the hist type hist type is equal to step option this is one more parameter available in the hist function hist type is equal to step means our diagram looks like this it will take only the steps like this it won't show the it won't fill the gap in between that this is how it will come it will come coming to the next one uh, how to apply this on different uh, uh, here we have taken simple example up to now we'll take multiple options and how to generate the stacked histograms uh, okay we are taking furniture and the count quantity values uh, we are taking office supplies and the quantity values we are taking the technology and we are taking the quantity values so that we'll have a better idea about uh, which items are going more uh, so we now we are deeply dividing uh, like that according to your requirement uh, you have to use choose the options uh. so these are the values which we considered and we are taking them as a x1 x2 and x3 values see here x1 is taken as quantity qu quantity of the furniture x2 is taking the quantity values of the for, uh, office supplies x3 is taking the quantity values of the technology so if you want to plot this uh, in the hist option uh, if you take the list of the x values x1 x2 x3 it will automatically generate side by side bars see so take a look at this uh, side by side bars are automatically generated uh, so w the discussion about side by side bars uh, the similar concept which we already got in our bar charts uh, the same way there one more option is also there uh, one above the other also there how to generate one above the other so here in order to generate side by side we have given the option x1 x2 x3 the list of x values automatically it will generate the side by side bar charts bars histograms and if you want to generate one above the other how to generate that how to what's the options we have to provide stacked is equal to true if you apply this option it will automatically generate one above the other how our histogram looks like this is how our histogram one above the other has been generated okay hope you understand the concept these are the mostly used options which we use in histograms hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you